Welcome everybody to Bedbug Central TV. I'm your host, Jeff White, and today we're going to talk about a topic that recently had some news reported um, that researchers are finding out that bed bugs may be pesticide resistant. And what this means is that researchers have collected some bugs from uh, different people's apartments or homes or whatever the case may be. They brought them back to their labs and tested them against some of the pesticides that we have available to us today. And what that means is that they take those bugs, they let them reproduce so they get a large number of them, and start exposing them to different pesticides. And what they're finding, unfortunately, is that some of those bug strains are in fact resistant to some of the pesticides we have available to us today. And of course that's a concern because, you know, if somebody has a pesticide resistant strain in their home, of course they're going to be much more difficult to get rid of. It doesn't mean that they're going to be impossible to get rid of, just more difficult. And if this is a concern to you, it may be something you might want to mention to your pesticide, uh, your pest control company. And uh, they may have to look at some alternative solutions, such as steam, or using bed encasements, or cryonite, or maybe whole structure heating, whatever the case may be. But it is going to be a more difficult, unfortunately. Now, the reason why I wanted to talk about the topic today was because, you know, I, I go online and I read a lot of different blogs where people talk about the topic. And I do keep reading people saying like, well, the pesticides we have available to us today don't work on bed bugs, which is a pretty big blanket statement that I don't necessarily feel is true. And I want to make sure people do understand that. You know, researchers are finding that certain strains of bed bugs are unfortunately testing positive for pesticide resistance. But it doesn't necessarily mean that all bed bugs in the field and in different, and people's apartments and homes are resistant to pesticide. Just some strains are testing positive. So, you know, for someone to say, oh, well, the pesticides we have today, they just don't work, may not necessarily be accurate. And to be honest with you, in fact, I don't believe are accurate because, you know, I've done a lot of jobs myself. And if the pesticides weren't working at all, you know, we've gotten rid of many populations in a pretty short time frame. And so I, I do think pesticides are working at least at some level in most cases. But unfortunately, there are some strains out there that are pesticide resistant. So let me summarize what I just said. You know, some bug strains, bed bug strains, are unfortunately testing positive for pesticide resistant. I just don't want people to be under the understanding that all bed bugs are resistant to pesticide, and therefore the pesticides we have today just don't work, when that may not necessarily be the case. You know, I, I do think the pesticides work in most instances at some level. They may not be quite as effective against bed bugs as they are other pests, but I think they do work at some level. So. Listen, everybody, it's good to talk to everybody. Uh, Jeff.White at bedbugcentral.com. Please email me your questions and comments. We've received some good emails lately, and I will be talking about some episodes in the future, very near future, that some people suggested. So again, thanks for tuning in, and I'll talk to you soon.